I've never built a house before, and I was talking to my dad who owned a construction company and has built multiple houses about building a particular type of house, and I asked him about whether I really needed to do blueprints with this or that, and he said, son, you really need to have somebody professionally look at the blueprints. The reason being is that you may think you've covered everything, but because they do what they do, they are gonna see things that you would over otherwise overlook. In the same way, God has always given his people a blueprint, so to speak, for life, for worship, for faith. And while that has changed in different dispensations, we always want to ask the question, what does God want us to do in this one, in the New Testament era? And not just looking at the things God asks us to do and the what, but why? Because when God designs something, there will always be beauty in it. And because he knows more than us and because he loves us, we can always expect that it'll be the best most beneficial thing that we could do. This coming Sunday, we're starting a new sub-theme called Committed to the Blueprint, and it's all about the different aspects of what we do in worship and why we do the things we do, and the real focus is to think about not just, again, the what, but the beauty behind it and the ability to explain to other people why God has asked us to do the things that we do. One of my favorite holiday movies, and I had a little debate this past holiday over whether it's a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie, uh, is The Nightmare Before Christmas. In it, Jack Skellington is head over the Halloween town, and he ends up going to Christmas town, and he becomes obsessed with trying to do Christmas because he wants a change, but then he messes everything up, and Santa Claus has been stolen by the boogeyman, and he's in a graveyard, and he's singing a song of, of self-pity and sadness for everything being messed up, and he mentions being the Pumpkin King, and then he comes to himself, and he says, wait, I am the Pumpkin King. It's in that moment of remembering who he is and what he's supposed to be doing that gives him power and strength to go do what needs to be done. Uh, and in the same way, remembering who we are and why we do what we do can be an empowering process, not just an intellectual endeavor, but one that empowers us to remember that God has designed the church the way that he has. And what God institutes has God's power behind it. And so it can remind us of who we are and who is behind us. I hope you'll join us Sunday as we begin this series.